House of Winds by Bayambo Architects in Indonesia. House of Winds is a compound of three temple villas of imposing architecture with raw materials on the island of gods, Bali. Every villa is a three-bedroom ensuite and is located in the serene area of Umalas. The villas are designed symmetrically on each other, with no second floors, so they keep perfect privacy between villas. Every villa has a parking area and a semi-hidden door that is covered by the roof of the villa, that slopes down to the floor until it touches the parking. This roof is one of the most important elements and concepts of the villa, it is like a huge blanket of old wooden tiles that shelters the villa under its majestic presence. Another key element in the design of this villa is that the layout has been designed diagonally to the plot, so we could maximize the length of the pool, the width of the living area, and the long visuals inside the villa from the entrance to the furthest point which culminates in a sunken round bathtub. Once you access the entrance covered by the roof, you access the colossal area in the villa, the living area, or the shared area. In this area, the roof reaches its maximum point, creating a rotund sensation where you can feel intimidated if it wasn't for the combination of raw natural materials, which blends perfectly with the building, creating an impacting but warm impression. The kitchen, dining room, round sunken design sofa area, and pool coexist together in this space without rivalry. If you continue walking in this main diagonal of the project, crossing the living area, you step up to a bridge that crosses the pool and leads to the private part of the project, the three-bedroom and suit. This long diagonal axe culminates in a sunken round bathtub in the master bedroom, surrounded by greenery and under a suspended roof with no columns in the corner. The other two bedrooms are symmetrically designed on both sides of the axe. All three bedrooms have a sofa for reading that can work as an extra bed, accommodating up to eight people, and every bathroom is different and designed with meticulous attention to detail. If you continue walking in this main diagonal of the project, crossing the living area, you step up to a bridge that crosses the pool and leads to the private part of the project, the three-bedroom and suit. This long diagonal axe culminates in a sunken round bathtub in the master bedroom, surrounded by greenery and under a suspended roof with no columns in the corner. The other two bedrooms are symmetrically designed on both sides of the axe. All three bedrooms have a sofa for reading that can work as an extra bed, accommodating up to eight people, and every bathroom is different and designed with meticulous attention to detail.